welcome to Talking Tom's Brain Farts on your favorite YouTube channel. I hope it's your favorite. If it's not, please, give me a chance. Please! I want to talk about something very important today. Something that might change your life. Do I have your attention? Today, I will teach you how to become a genius! <laughs> People keep asking me, Tom, how do you get so many wonderful ideas? Well, some people do, but they should ask me more often, because you all know I have great ideas. Things just fly into my head. <coughs> no, not that way. Can we get over that, please? I've done so many awesome things over the years. I have my own show, I've created apps, and all of this has been made possible by one simple talent. I'm able to think out Side the box. No, that's not what I mean. I was speaking metaphorically. Metaphorically. Flickery. Ferrucolo. Ferrucolo. You know? What I'm trying to say is that many people are scared of new ideas. Ah! A new idea! But not me. I'm not scared of ideas. I am scared of the dark, though. And spiders! <laughs> but not ideas. Unless I have an idea. How about a spider in the dark? Ugh. But new ideas, that's what I excel in. Let me give you an example. Throughout history, people of all nations were trying to find a solution to the eternal question. How can you build a better mousetrap? So they say, nobody knows who these people were or why they weren't happy with their old mousetraps. But I read on the internet that everyone wanted a better one. And if it's online, it must be true. So I had this idea the other day, an out-of-the-box idea. Don't show the picture, Ben. <sighs> Thanks. The best mouse trap might be one that wasn't a trap at all. Here's my idea. Instead of taking a piece of cheese and putting it in a trap, just give the cheese to the mouse. Crazy, right? But that's why it'll work. At first, the mouse will be skeptical. It will think, oh, <laughs> where is the catch? But then it will try the cheese, and it will be good. Mmm, good, my favorite cheese. <laughs> A little salty, but sweet at the same time. Now I want some cheese. I should remember not to do these kinds of shows before dinner. Anyway, the mouse will be really happy. It will think it's found a new friend. Someone who will give it cheese every day. But then, after a few days, you stop giving cheese to the mouse. No apologies, no explanations, and no cheese. The mouse will be like, Oh, where's the cheese? I thought you were my friend. And it will leave your house never to return again. So there you have it. That's my idea for a better mousetrap. And it'll work, too. After all, I put it online. If it's online, it must be true. What about you, huh? Do you have a better idea for a better mousetrap? Do you? I dare you to come up with one. So, come up with your own epic mousetrap idea, and then tell me all about it in the comments below. And remember to always think outside the box. Okay, Ben, you can show the picture one more time. I know you want to. Happy? Okay, guys, if you like this video, click the subscribe button. And you can also ask me a question in the comments below. With a bit of luck, I'll answer your question in one of the next videos.